Hello guys today we are going to do a new project on scratch So guys do you ever played basketball before If not today we are going to play with a basketball Are you ready guys We are learning a few new things in this video Have you ever heard of negative numbers coordinates x y axis anything If not let us learn it today So for that First click on scratch icon. You can see the scratch window is opening. Now let us do our project. So for this project, we don't need our sprite Tommy. So we can just remove him from the sprite list by clicking here. Now click here and choose another sprite. We can choose a basketball. So guys can you see basketball in the stitch We can move this basketball anywhere around the stitch Can you see x y position down here When we put basketball in one place its x y position is shown down here changes So as basketball changes its position so does the value in x and y position below Now when it reaches a certain position x or y will show a negative value which shows the basketball is on negative axis So do you know why it shows minus and what does it mean by minus 50 or minus 30 or what is minus Actually these are negative numbers when we count numbers normally we meant 1 2 3 etc so when we count it in reverse it will be like 3 2 1 and 0 we learned that there is no number before 0 but there are numbers before 0 and they are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc and these are called negative numbers so when we change the position of ball you can see the value of x and y changes when we place our ball here You can see x value is minus one twenty three and y changes to minus eleven, minus thirty three, minus fifteen, minus seventy seven, and you can see x value also changing. So now it's changing from minus five, and y is changing. So we can learn how this change happens. So this is the coordinate plane. When we place the ball over here, you can see that the x and y values are positive. So here the value of x and y will be positive. When we change the position of ball to here, the x value is negative and y will be positive. So whenever we change the position the x value will be minus and my value will be negative and for here both x and y are negative values and finally if we change the place to here x is positive and y is negative So friends I hope you understood where the value of x and y become positive and negative. Now we can give some movements to the ball. For that, first go to events and choose the first block when flag click. Now for the second block, select the second block from motion. So go to motion. and choose go to x y and drag and drop it just below the first block you can see some values written over here which is as same as the values written here values in x and y indicates the position of ball now let us change the values to zero the ball changes position yes the ball moved to the main position Now let us try changing this position by changing x and y values. Changing the x value to 100, clicking the flag, yes. 
so the ball changes position now replace the value in y minus 100 and x remains 100 again the ball changes its position so you can try changing the position of ball by changing the values in x and y when x value changes to minus 100 ball changes its position again so guys you can try changing the position of ball okay after adjusting the position of ball when we click the flag it changes the position very fastly so we can apply a delay for that choose wait 1 seconds block from controls so go to controls choose the first block what we are going to do is a movement where the ball jumps and go to x and y so i'm choosing the fourth block go to x and y from motion and fifth block from controls that is wait 1 second block from controls again one more block of go to x y from the motion we need to adjust the position of balls to adjust the values in x and y so when we adjust the position of balls you can see the x and y values got adjusted automatically so we are going to do a movement where the ball jumps so just drag it over here and now we can check by clicking the flag yes you can see our ball jumps as per our algorithm once again check that so click on the flag yes so the ball jumps as per our algorithm but there is a problem when we give values to x and y the ball goes in a single snap and we can't see the change in positions accurately so to tackle this problem choose the glide block before that you need to remove the previous blocks so just remove the previous blocks and drag and drop glide block from motions so you can see glide 1 seconds to x y so when we click the flag you can see the ball moves constantly and it's accurate we need to make our ball jump in a particular way so we can adjust for that so take another block of glide and place it just below the second block and each time we choose this glide block you need to adjust the position of ball so i am adjusting the position of ball whenever i choose the glide block so yes now click the flag and you can see a perfect movement of our ball we can also adjust the speed of the ball movement by adjusting the time here so we can replace one with 0.5 in all these blocks and you can check the movement of the ball you can check if the ball moves faster or slower so now click on the flag and you can see the ball moves faster than before so we just reduced the time from 1 to 0.5 and we made our ball move so faster now we can make an animation on scoring a goal with an elephant so for that first of all we need to remove the previous blocks now we need to choose the background and our sprite elephant so click here for choosing the background we can select the basketball too Yes so now the stage is ready and you can see our basketball is already here now we need our sprite elephant so click here and now click on animals 
Now search for elephant. So yes, elephant is here. So click on that. Now elephant is standing in the stage. Now he will make a goal. Elephant has two animations that is its trunk is raised and lowered. So we need to switch between these costumes. So you can see flip animation here. So just click on that and you can see two costumes and we need to switch between these two costumes. So now he will raise and lower his trunk. We can cord this. So click on cord. So we need our elephant to kick the ball. So when the elephant touches the ball, the ball senses it and falls into the basket and then falls back into the elephant's trunk. First of all, we can make the elephant movement. You can see the elephant in the sprite list. So first of all, select elephant. Choose the first block when flag clicked from the events. Then go to looks. Select switch costume. Now the third block from the controls. Wait one second. We need to switch the costume. So we need the fourth block switch costume from the looks. Now again wait one second block from the controls. Change the costume one. So when we click the flag, you can see the elephant trunk is raised and lowered. So we need whenever the elephant's trunk touches the ball, the ball senses it and falls into the basket and then falls back into elephant's trunk. Here first the costume is switches to costume 1, then switches to costume 2. Now we need one more block. So go to looks and choose switch costume. Change costume 2 to costume 1. So now our elephant moves perfectly. Now choose basketball in the sprite list. Now we can make the basketball movement. The first block is already here when flag clicked. Now we can choose the second block. So go to controls and choose the loop if then. And for the third block, go to sensing and choose the first one. So the, this block is to move the ball when the elephant touches the ball. So when it touches with the trunk, the ball senses it and falls into the basket. So just place it in this space provided over here. Now we need to set the position of the ball. So for that go to motion and select Go one second to X, Y. We need to set the position. So slightly move the ball and the position will automatically set. Now the second block. We need number of blocks like this for the perfect movement of ball. So whenever we select this go one second to x, y, we need to set the position of ball. So now the ball reaches the basket. Now we want our ball to fall back into elephant's trunk. So we need to move our ball to that direction also. So we need to do that block also. So need to select some more block and need to adjust the position. Let us check what happens. So click on the flag 
and you can see when the elephant trunk touches the ball the ball senses it and falls into the basket and then falls back into the elephant's trunk so you can see how the elephant switches its costume and how the ball moves perfectly we can change the size of basketball by changing the value in size tab from 100 to 75 we can make this animation do continuously so for that for the continuous movement we can choose the forever loop from controls so now the elephant will continuously kick the ball the ball will fall into the basket and will come back to elephant's trunk so let's check what happens by clicking the flag oh, oh but still there is no change so we need to do some changes in elephant's algorithm also so click on elephant in sprite list now we can add some blocks so go to controls and choose the if then loop and now go to sensing and select the first block and place it over the space provided here now we need to make our elephant switch the costume continuously so for that go to looks and select the switch costume now go to controls and select the first block wait one second we once again need to select the switch costume and wait one second blocks so select that we need to change this costume to to costume 1 we need one more block and change the costume to to costume 1 from here and we need to place it in a loop so select forever loop and drag and drop it here so so let us check what happens when we click the flag yes when the elephant's trunk touches the ball the ball senses it and falls into the basket and then falls back into the elephant's trunk so you can see our elephant is constantly kicking the ball and the ball is constantly falling into the basket and coming back to the elephant's trunk you can also adjust the speed of this moving ball so just adjust it in the time provided here so just replace one with Point three. So just delete one from here and type point three. So I made the ten blocks time to point three. So let's check what happens now. Before that, we need to place the ball back to elephant's trunk. Now click the flag. Yes. So you can see when elephant. trunk touches the ball the ball falls to the basket and the speed of ball increases uh, or the ball moves faster than before so i hope you all like this project and we will meet again with another project in the next session thank you